Hi, I'm Tal, the developer of Animation Layers and Anim Toolbox. Both are animation add-ons for Blender. In this video, I was testing motion capture with Move AI using a single iPhone camera. Overall, it was working good, but as you can see, it still needed a lot of cleanup and editing work, especially the parts with contact. I was using just the standard Blender constraints like rotation and location constraints to retarget my characters to the mockup. And this is how it looks after transferring the mockup into my characters. I was using animation layers to adjust their poses. But in the following part, I will show how I've used different tools from Anim Toolbox to clean up, edit and improve the mockup into the final animation result. First, I'm isolating Arnold's rig using Isolate Pose Mode from the Quick menu. Selecting the FK controls of the arm and creating the Temp IK controls. This can be used for snapping FK to a temporary IK control. I'm turning on Editable Motion Path from the Quick menu. Standard Blender hotkeys such as GRS and Axis Locks are implemented. Using Control and mouse click, I can add and remove keyframes. Hotkeys V and Control T are used for handles and interpolations. Fixing the hand contact with the hips using Copy Relative Matrix. First, I'm adjusting the hand pose, selecting the hand and then the center of gravity as an active object. Copy Relative Matrix will copy the matrix of each selection relative to the active selection. Selecting the keyframes where the hand should be fixed. Changing the frame range type to selected keyframes. And pasting the relative matrix to all selected keyframes. The hand is now fixed to the center of gravity control. It is also possible to use it with multiple selections and it will copy the relative matrix for each selection separately. Copy relative matrix can be used also to attach objects to bones or bones to objects, copying the matrix of the pot lid relative to the active bone. Defining the bake frame range using frame range markers. And pasting the relative matrix to the frame range. Animating cloth using world space controls. Using track target option to influence only the rotation. It is now possible to choose the target axis and the distance. It creates a target to the original control with the animation baked on it. Offsetting the keyframes in world space will create a delay and a cloth-like effect. Using world space with copy transforms to influence only the location of the tweak bones. And now offsetting the keyframes. Adding more world space controls to the rest of the tweak bones with an offset. Let's say I want to refine the arm using a motion path. The problem is that editable motion path works only on location keyframes and the arm has only rotation keyframes. So what I could do is create a world space control using the track target option. And now, I can create the motion path on the target control and for example, clean the jitterness using control mouse click to remove keyframes. If I want to use temp controls for a specific axis, then I can use the filter option. In this case, the temp control will influence only the z-axis. The rest of the axes are filtered out. The temp control is now controlling only the up and down of the head. Now offsetting the keyframes will make the head feel more disconnected 
as if a hand was moving inside the puppet. Temp controls on and off switch is now animatable. When baking temp controls back to the original rig, it will bake only the parts where it was turned on. Markers retimer is used to adjust the timing using markers. It is now working also with multiple objects and animation layers. And now for the final result of the animation. Hiermit erkläre ich, dass ich nie mehr in meinem Leben Fleisch essen werde und schwöre hoch und heilig, die Erde und alle ihre Bewohner zu schützen. Hiermit erkläre ich, dass ich nie mehr... Äh, okay, okay, ich verspreche Übrigens, ich habe beim Aufräumen die ganze Post hier gefunden. Äh, was für Post? 